Hey everyone, this is a video talking about my thoughts on this little post that Scott Cawthon, the creator of FNAF, made. This is my third attempt to record this, because I keep thinking of points to bring up. If you know me, now don't take my head off now, I want everyone to be as not Gen Z as possible and have a civil discussion and hear my thoughts out about this. For starters, I am not a book fan. I have not read any of them, but I'm very aware of the stories they tell. You know, I am a FNAF fan. I'd like to know what the stories are about. But like many other YouTubers, Docco, I think 8-Bit Ryan, not MatPat, I consider these books, these novels, to be none other than Goosebumps-like stories. They take place in a parallel universe to our own game with similar connections that make their own canon. Not canon to our games, but canon to their own stories, because you can't have one thing without the other, And but in this term, you can. You can't have the books without the games, but you could have the games without the books. And the only time ever have these books come into fruition about being true has been the Mimic. The Mimic showed up, and that kind of confused everyone. But then they kind of made it work, because you realize the Mimic was there the whole time in uh, Security Breach. We just saw a different version of him. So, what I'm trying to say today is, I think this comment here by Scott, as I read it to you, this is the quote he said concerning the books. This is the only thing he said concerning the books. Concerning what people are saying about the canosity or the canonosity of the books, yes, that is correct. Now, let me ask you, fellow viewer, where does it say the books are canon? Oh, I see what you, oh, I see what you see. The canosity of the books, yes, that is correct. That's the way you read it concerning what people are saying about the canosity of the books yeah that's correct he's not saying the books are canon he is saying yes people are saying the canosity of the books people are saying people are saying that's that's what we should be reading here he's not saying yes tiger rock is canon yes the mimic origin story is canon yes uh, Springtrap had a baby. That is not what we're supposed to be taking away from here. He is saying, yes, I am aware that people are saying that the books are canon to the games. He's not saying that, yes, the, the books are canon to the games. He's saying, yes, people are saying they are. And for the past two years, I have gotten so much flack on Twitter, which is already a scary place. I think Daco has, too. And I'm not any doc. I'm no Daco. Let me make that clear. <laughs> Daco thinks that these games are parallel universes, as do I. And everyone's like, what, was Daco no Scott or something? Yes. Yes, he does. So, in terms of all that, I, I think these are just Goosebumps novels. I think Scott just wanted to get a statement out there. To cause some ruckus because any because controversy is the best attention if you say the books aren't or are canon people like me are gonna make a video talking about it sorry i'm being robbed so here's another point i'll bring up modern fnaf fans <laughs> if you are ready to say that I am incorrect. I am wrong. I need to jump into the pizza place when it's set ablaze. Then you need... If the books are canon, if Tales from the Pizza Plex is canon, and Scott said yes, then you need to accept that that Roblox survival game that came out a couple months ago is also canon. You need to, you need to accept that that FNAF Dead by Daylight clone is canon. You have to accept that Gregory 
is a robot built by his mother who took over Afton Industries because she is the wife of William Afton and she built the Pizza Plex to rebuild her family. You need to accept that because that's what the books kind of entail according to the map hat who knows everything. That's my TED Talk. I'm not looking to start a war. I'm not looking to start a controversy. I'm just stating my opinion. I'm looking at these thumbnails, not these thumbnails, these cover arts for the books as cool as they are why why were they not in security breach if they're so canon and don't give me that whole security breach was a rush process because they had more than enough time for ruin and ruin gave us the mimic i think we should be happy that the games are at least trying to set up stuff from the books and try and make a little something out of it but security breach is over all right we're, we're moving on to cassie and help wanted to and possibly her father so that's my TED talk. Sorry if I scared you or annoyed you, but that's the unfortunate truth that we must come by. I can't wait for this to be proven wrong within two days. And Daco is like, well, books are canon now. And I'm like, well, I guess they're canon. But I think the books are the books, the games are the games, and the movies are the movies. They are not connected. Because if they were, we'd have an MCU situation. And I don't think anybody in the world wants FNAF to turn into the MCU. So, thank you for watching. That's my TED Talk. Hope I annoyed you and angered you. Uh, and I think Scott is just throwing a statement out there. Just as vague as no enough as possible to stir up something. Because I honestly just think Scott likes watching these events occur he loves watching his franchise like be talked about but people tend to talk about it in a violent manner which is why i'm a little aggressive about my opinion so yeah that's my ted talk that's my theory it's just a theory good day